And we're back. Uh, I might very well be the only person who is sort of actively collecting XFL cards. Um, but if you are interested in XFL cards or just the XFL in general, the XFL hobby boxes, they're running pretty cheap nowadays. So that could be something worth worth looking into. And you get, let's see, three autographs. I've done really well in terms of like reselling uh, XFL, which the uh, the numbered cards. So hopefully get a few of those in here, uh, and then we'll see who we have for our autos. So you know, hopefully with the Rock purchasing the XFL, if they get another licensing deal with Tops, hopefully there'll be some Rock autographs in there. Um, but I do know that there are some really uh, low numbered prints here with with autos that do really well here's our first auto ray ray davison the third apparently um so let's see that's you know again uh dow's renegades autographs are always cool at least for me uh but other than that we're pretty much just going to move through these rather quickly i i, th I thought the uh, xfl at least the second iteration was you know good while it lasted uh i think they had and by good i mean you know they had some really good ideas that i think would have worked well in the nfl um i definitely like the i'll keep that he's the uh chiefs uh backup quarterback hopefully we'll never need him but you know you never know I'm sure mahomes they are basically keeping in a in a bubble to ensure nothing happens to him but uh yeah so i thought they had good ideas that would work well if uh integrated into the the nfl but you know we'll see what happens if anything happens with the xfl in the future you know covid kind of killed that enterprise for the time being and here we have a uh you know DeAndre Goolsby, 24 out of 50. It is pretty easy to get, relatively speaking, cards that are out of number to five or number to ten. I have several of those, and I mean, and that's just a fraction of the purchases that I've made towards um, the XFL compared to, say, you know, MLB top. So. I haven't really gotten anything out of MLB retail in terms of short numbered or short print variations, never an autograph. So, you know, but of course the print run, I'm going to guess is exponentially higher than the, what it is for the XFL. But nonetheless, these are kind of, if anything, this would be 2020 relics. So I'll just keep that as a kind of selling selling point. Aaron Murray saw him play uh, at a Chiefs game when he was back up to Alex Smith back in like 2013, 2014. And I did pull his autograph in a retail box and there is again Jordan Murray I put him off to the side so if you do see any of this in the stores which there's some targets still still have them I noticed you grab two or three blaster boxes in my experience you're going to get one or two autographs here we have a Avery Genesee um and uh, let's see here, at number eight of 99, the Houston Roughnecks. Hayes, nice uh, PJ Walker. I think he has an NFL deal as well. Or at least he had, like as in signed one. I don't know if he's still around or not. J. 
June Jones, Jordan Tamu again. There's our second autograph, Brandon Silvers, Seattle Dragons. Quarterback here, so that's cool. Put him up there with his friend. He's number 12. He just wants to reiterate that and with his autograph. Ben Johnson. I do have uh, one guy I know through eBay who seems to be a huge Ben Johnson fan. He must be a relative or something. So, I mean, I guess I could flip that one. Jared Hurd. Ben Heaney. Remember, I watched him play at, uh, K at KU quite a few times. And uh, pulled his autograph from a blaster box uh, sometime over the summer so I'm gonna keep that for nostalgic purposes but he did really well for the Raiders but I think he might have been quote unquote injury prone as they say definitely a fun player to watch especially you know if you're a KU football fan it's the little things trust me uh, that that get you excited and here we have another green $34.99, Deontrez Mount. Brandon Silvers, he's number 12. Nick Temple, Aaron Murray. I think we still have one more auto. Simi. Hayes, and here it is, D'Angelo Yancey. Look at all the thought he put into that, that autograph right there. Almost like Yaya from the uh, Sandlot. But wide receiver, that's the, yeah, New York Guardians. So put him up there. Cam Phillips. All right, let me get a nice one of one I don't even know if they're called super fractors in XFL lingo but so maybe we can get a big low numbered hit these things are not ripping easily Stoops Perez he was traded in case you didn't know I think that's the guy who uh Claims to have taught himself how to play football by watching YouTube. So, you know, take that for, for what you will in connection to the XFL. Sorry, like I said, I'm just kind of flying through these, what I typically don't do for other product. Um, you know, you watch some videos and the guy's just flying through these looking for the hits. Um, but I'm doing that through XSL because to be honest, I'm not sure who really cares. So, BJ Daniels, and here's a good one Kermit Whitfield, 23 of 25. Is that it? Is that a K? Yep, Kermit. Los Angeles Wildcats. So put him up there with the other numbered cars, and we will finish with Reese Horn. All right, so super quick recap. We have D'Angelo Yancey, Brandon Silvers, Ray Ray Davison as our three autos, and then we have card numbered out of 25 out of 50 and two green uh, parallels out of um, out of 99. So that's what I got. Have you picked up any XFL cards? What do you think about the XFL and its future? Let me know down below. Like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll reach out to you.